Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another video of makeup and talk with chin nails. Um, if you guys have been noticed or have, I did change my name my name on YouTube to the real Nelly, real Miss Nelly B. Um, I have been going by that for a long time, and I figured, you know, let me try something other than my real name. But I'm probably gonna still introduce you <laughs> myself as. Janelle's because that's my real name until I get used to saying that um, so we're just gonna get right into the video all right um, first things first how was your how was your New Year's how was your Christmas you know did you make any really nice resolutions did you um, visit with family and friends did you get any like good gifts you know how did it how did that go was it was it quiet you know mine um i don't recall if i talked about my christmas or not but both christmas and new year's for me was actually pretty quiet um which honestly i like you know um i don't especially especially christmas i don't really like the big old fuss over christmas you know and um you know new year's was quiet I was really surprised because I thought I would hate um, New Year's, but like hate being being by myself on New Year's. Um, I didn't go visit with my family, you know, um, this time. I just stayed at home. Um, I fell asleep. I think, yeah, on my New Year's Day video, I did fall asleep to bring in the New Year, and then actually during the day, um, I was home. I may. I may have visited with my mom I can't remember but for the most part it was actually really quiet and I I loved it I loved it I loved it so it was nice hopefully you guys enjoyed yours if you are someone that lives in the north and um, you like a white Christmas hopefully yours was white mine wasn't which honestly I don't mind I actually hate snow it's not it's not something I like. And of course, some people would say, then why would you live in New York? Um, I just happen to be here and I just haven't left yet. <laughs> but I hate, I hate snow. So I honestly um, was very happy when I woke up on Christmas morning and there was no snow outside. I was like, yes. And then, of course, <laughs> later on in the day, it did snow, but it's okay. Christmas, it's not a tiny bit, not a whole lot to where um, I was... I was upset about it you know I'm just trying to get some more because I know I'm gonna put some some stuff right here in this corner because I tend I tend to do that you know so I was really happy and the weather has been so mild Ooh, I'm putting on a lot of primer oh well the weather has been so mild and I love it I mean so mild as in the fact that it's not really snow um, it's in the 30s 20s like I don't like those temperatures but it's not snowing so I will take it you know so that is something that I am I'm happy about um I don't know I I was going to talk about you know a few things I've been looking at today and watching you know but before we get into that um guys I just wanted to ask a question and comment real quick have you guys noticed what's going on in the capital like you know, they're supposed to be counting the electoral votes again to solidify Joe Biden being president, you know, and then um, all these Trump supporters, basically, we all know, they stormed the Capitol and interrupted that thing, right? And um, people were being really nice at first, calling them, oh, they were saying that um, these, I'm going to try this brush, they were, they were calling them protesters, right? Saying it nicely they were saying oh these protesters are out here causing a ruckus i'm just gonna say that i'm just gonna like edit it or what is it what is it called spark note it give you a brief little outline i i watched most of what i saw because i got a text message from my friend like hey did you see what's going on in the capitol i'm like no i don't know what you're talking about i'm sorry guys i should have turned my eye so you can see this is um Okay, I'm sorry. So I'm using my neon brights for right now. Well, today I'm going to like mess around with these. Um, I actually, I think I'm going to do a segment for a whole entire month to try like every single color 
in my palette um, because I never do it. I have three of them here and I think I'm going to do that just so I can get used because I would normally only use my favorite palette I showed in my last video. But um, I think I'm going to do a month of that because I come on like four times a month unless it's a five week month. So I think in each month I will do that while telling you a story. I, or delivering some information. So anyway, so I'm watching this, right? And these people are out here just tearing up the Capitol building. I don't know if their goal was to like go in there and like just turn tables over and like snatch the ballots and rip them up. I don't really know what their goal was, but I always found it interesting, the expectations of these people and the things that they say when it came to this election, like something that I found really interesting and it just stuck out to me. Like I heard someone once say that, oh, it's not fair that they didn't have anyone come into the office where they were counting our votes to see like who won. Why didn't they let any Republicans come in? You know, or um, when they were talking about mailing ballots, like absentee ballots, you know, um, that's, you know, that's, that's another way to perform fraud because I didn't ask for an absentee ballot and I got one sent to my house. You know, how do I know that it's going to the right place? Now, for those, so for those of you who isn't of voting age yet, or you just got to the age of voting, okay, let me tell you something. You do not request an absentee ballot. All right, that's not something that you request. Like, do not let these people tell you. And this is just for, this is just for future reference. Okay, you don't request an absentee ballot. An absentee ballot comes to everyone. I started like at eighteen. You're, I think you're allowed to vote at eighteen. I remember when I started getting my ballots in the mail at eighteen. Now there was no coronavirus going around. There was no like pandemic when I was 18 okay it was just the flu and of course you know we're all out we can be out in public with the flu so we're all I saw something on YouTube I'm gonna try because um even though I love this color like like doing this I want my colors to pop so I've been seeing them like put on more pri more primer um I should get a different brush because this brush is gross but anyway so um the absentee ballot comes to everyone in the mail because because the thing is, right, they don't want you to miss your opportunity to vote. Like, this year was the only time where they had multiple days of voting. This year was the only time. You've always had absentee ballot. It's never been something new. So, um, that's something that's been constant. So, for those of you that are listening to the jargon out there that's making you think that there's something fraudulent going on, it's not. It's not fraudulent at all, okay? So... Um, they just do it to make sure everyone can get it. But like I said, this year, because of COVID-19, it's the only time they've had multiple days to vote. Because once voting is closed on the actual day, that's it. There's no more. So that's where the absentee ballots come in. For anyone that might be working, you know, can actually get their, get their votes, get their vote counted. Okay, so like them talking about that, I thought was ridiculous. And they actually, to me, I felt like they're not a voter you know like because if you were a true voter you would know that um that they mail those out every time even for local um for local elections they mail those out okay that's how i know half the time because depending on what's going on they don't really advertise it but that's how i know elections are happening when i get a um your voting location has changed or I get an um, absentee ballot in the mail. It's like, what the heck's going on? Then I look and it's like for the sheriff or for the judge or something like, oh, okay. So I want to squash that. But anyway, um, so when you, when you hear that and you hear someone say that, don't take that as face value and fact because in actuality, it's not fact and they're just trying to spread their ideals push their ideals on you so um you don't have the opportunity to make up your own mind and decision about something all right so i, I do want you guys those of you that aren't yet old enough to vote or just became a vote like just just you know pay attention to that because it's always been a thing all right so that's one 
and it just it just bothered me so now i saw the video here and that's what you know that's what they're doing and i just i just found it interesting that they they're so bold you know and i was watching it live on cnn i tried to watch it on um the new york times website but it, it was freezing so i went to cnn and they had it live and of course it's a new show so they're talking and i'm just hearing the debate that's going back and forth they have both Republicans and Democrat, they have both people on there that's for Trump and people on there that are clearly not for Trump because Trump has been um, disrupting a lot and a lot of stuff and making a lot of chaos. So of course they're not for him, right? So I've been, I've been watching it and um, I just, I just found it, I just found it very interesting that that happened. And oh gosh, I just, I just had it. I just how I was gonna send it like disappeared, ah! but. Um, if, if you have the time, like if it's still going on, once this video, once this video goes live, um, definitely watch it. You know, I know, I don't know if, if they record live videos so you can watch it like on the back end, but definitely check it out. So I think today I'm going to try this, um, where is it? This one, this more of an orange. I haven't tried this one at all. I actually, my last video when I use orange, I use this one here. So I put a little brown and it's kind of hard to see it, maybe because I, I was trying a different brush, but I'm going to try this brush. I've never used it, so I'm going to do it. Um, So I'm going to try that. But just the things that are happening I today, I was like, wow. And I wouldn't have known. Yeah, I need a different brush. I wouldn't have known if, like, my friend didn't call me and say, hey, did you see what's happening? And I was like, what's happening? You know, because I was busy. I'm not going to lie, guys. I was playing The Sims. Um, My Sim... <laughs> she finally went to college. So I was trying to get her to be all that she can be, right? So I was too busy doing that. But then after he called me, I had to take a look. So I'm like, what is going on now? Like, what are they doing now? It's all, you know, it's always, it's always like a spectacle. You know, I, I'm thinking, guys, the next video, which is going to be next week, I'm going to try to get a different primer. Like, I really like my primer. Like, it matches, it matches my skin, right? Really well. But the problem is certain colors don't really pop like I needed to. And I'm looking at the mirror and at the camera here and um it's not it's not looking that great. It's not it's not that vibrant. I think I may have mentioned something about that, but when I saw this on the other video, cause I see it all the time when the women they they reapply, like it it pops more, so I figured maybe I just have too much powder on. I just need to reapply some more primer, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter um, if I add new primer or not. If it, if it doesn't want to pop, it's not going to pop. So um, I'm going to try, like I've seen, I've seen white primer at the store and I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to try the white one and see if that will, if that will help um, better than this brown one that I have here you know but anyway so so if if it if it if it doesn't look right that's that's the reason um but so that's what so that's what's going on right now <sighs> which is interesting <laughs> you should you like you can also see and hear the disgust of the people in the office because there are some people that are on camera high-fiving them and they're like how dare they high-five oh there it is where are the police why isn't anyone arrested? If it was Black Lives Matter, they would have done this, they would have done that. And the guy was like, you know, when when the Black Lives Matter people came to the Capitol, you know, they had cops in riot gear. They were ready to, like, do some harm, but nothing, like, nothing came out of it as far as, like, riots or, 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 like, attacks and stuff. That's what they said. But this one is clearly riots going on and, you know, they're dismantling things and breaking things and no riot gear snow there's no tear gas there's no there's what is it what did they use there's no mace bombs going off you know and so like you know they're they're pissed off about that and i'm like hey double standards always right but whatever so today um i'm gonna move i'm gonna move away from that topic because i definitely don't want to have you guys form an opinion about what's going on based on what i said if you're interested in what i just spoke about definitely check it out it's on cnn um right now it is the time i don't know it's probably like it's almost five o'clock so it's on cnn if it's not five o'clock already 
so check it out i would say it is a good watch you know you might get something out of it right i'm just trying to find the right brush because this brown i put on is like cute but you can't see it so i'm gonna try another brown let's try this darker color here and see because i do i do want like that i do want a dark around the red you know you see that like I mean, I have my light here. Let me, if I move it a little bit. Let's see that one. Okay. See that right there? I'm going to, I'm, I got to work on my lighting, but I try to get, I have my ceiling light on, which is like a yellow color. It's probably, it's probably like 40 watts. So I, I think I have to get like a, and those energy saver bulbs, I think I have to get like a, um, a white light that's in my actual table lamps and put it in here. And then it'll probably work a lot better with my LED lamp that's that's um, right next to my phone. And then maybe, maybe the lighting will be better. We'll see. But I did want something a little different today. Um, I'm probably going to build on the, on the orange that I put down. I'm probably going to put in like a red. I try to get as much color as I can. I mean light because where I'm sitting is not as, is not bright, but where you are. And I just need to see what, you know. If I'm, if, I'm, if I'm making sense if I'm making sense <laughs> um so today uh, I have been watching documentaries again like I love I've been watching a lot um the ones I've been watching I'm sorry I'm a little loud because I keep getting close to the phone but um one of the ones I watched for a while now I watched at least two seasons was the toughest prisons in the world i'm gonna be honest with you guys if you haven't seen it this is all on netflix okay if you haven't seen it i'm gonna tell you this season one is better than season two i got the vibe in season two that the guy that went into the prison was like oh look at me now i beat you because he talks about his story i beat you way back when i beat the courts you know i you know you you falsely accused me and now i got a job and i'm gonna purposely go into prison and show you and show the world how they treat people and how terrible it is and i got that vibe with him like he he had he had something to prove you know and I didn't like it, so I wasn't really a fan of um, see, of season two. But season one was season one was good, you know. And the guy, like, he was from Ireland. Like his voice is sexy, you know. I loved it. <laughs> and then like he he met some um he met some prisoners there, and he like of course you know they have to have a talk with the wardens and the government so he can go in there and stuff because it's actually you know it's technically a uh, um, what is it called? Media news journalism, right? So they had a, he's a journal. Technically, he's a journalist going there and get permission, and he had some prisoners that received him very well and was like, <laughs> was excited to see him and you know excited to tell to tell their story, which was to me a breath a breath of fresh air, right? Because who 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 really who don't want to know the truth? I know I do. I want to know like. Are you really treating this person right? Or um, are we just being lied to? And so, you know, and then like some some prisons were real. Those like, yeah, we don't run the prison on the inside like the prisoners do. You know, we give them the authority because there's too much. We don't, you know, there's too much prisoners. We don't have enough money, nor do we have enough guards. So we give the prisoners the authority to do so. So you know they were like real honest and i was like yo this is nice and and then the, the prisoners what's crazy is the prisoners stay in line because the the other prisoners that govern them they don't play games like you don't do right you don't follow the rules you don't do what i say you're gonna you're gonna get hurt seriously like people were like gonna chop they don't chop off the limbs and stuff like that you know um, you're gonna go without food. You're gonna do all sorts of stuff. So it 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 motivated them, you know, to like to like stay in line. So I did I did find that very interesting, right? But like I said, season two, I didn't like any part of season two. And he doesn't stay in one prison. They go they go in different prisons. I can't remember how many episodes in season two because I really didn't watch much of it because it was it did not it didn't draw me in. So it was pretty, to me, it was pretty lame, right? But I think season one had like five or six episodes. 
and it's it's insane but it's good you should definitely watch season one um and um it's good that's good the next one that i've watched because this other one is about prison because i'm into i'm into like stuff when it comes to like the facility of like the correctional facility part i'm into um housing like i stated prior to i'm into border patrol you know anything like that any 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 documentary that requires me to think i'm into and so <laughs> this one was called like happy jail yeah happy jail is a jail um on an island like caraca something like that um in between i think it's in between like the philippines and um basically it's really small it's very poor and uh, back in i want to say 2005 um they the prisoners were dancing right they made the prisoners dance they recorded the prisoners and then they put them online like they put them online so for the world to see and they became overnight sensation hence the term happy jail right and so now they're like the prisoners that were there they're now stars like famous <laughs> you know and so oh i tried that one before so they're you know so they're famous and everyone you know knows who they are i'm gonna try this because you know i was the last time I used a lot, see this is not the right brush. The last time I used a lot of um, glitter. But I'm going to try this one, see how it looks. Mm, I need a different type of brush. It's not transferring and I don't feel like uh, abusing my eyeballs <laughs> with it. So I'm going to transfer it a little bit, a tiny bit, right? Not much that it'll make a difference in the, in the camera that you can see, you know. But um, it's called Happy Gel, guys. And, um, he, the one, there was a woman there who was the governor. Now, their governor is our terms, because I live in the United States, our terms is called the warden, okay? So, the warden there was a woman, and, um, that's, and during her time, that's when the whole dancing in prison started, was when she was the warden. Okay, and then, of course, you know, you're not in that job forever, so when she left, a guy came in. And he hired someone new, and there was, she was mad because the guy he hired was um, an ex-convict. So she was like, oh, her and her brother, oh, you know, he's bringing corruption into the place. He hired an ex-con, you know, and um, we, don't, we don't appreciate that, right? That's a problem. So um, I'm like, wow. <laughs> so they're spreading all these rumors, and the guy's like, it's not even like I'm an actual criminal. You know, one of my friends was like, hey, can you carry this bag of drugs for me? Or hold, dang it, I'm really ruining my eyebrows. Can you hold this um, bag of drugs for me and um, and I'll be right back? Well, not knowing this person that he called his friend was an undercover, undercover cop. That's that's his story, okay? He was under, she was an undercover cop, so he got, he got, um, arrested for a distribution and they were like yo you get life in prison right which is crazy because they don't hand that sucker out here but anyway so he got life in prison so um he after seven years he found out that he could appeal he could appeal his sentence so he did and he got out because they found him innocent but he already spent seven years in prison but they found him innocent so he came out. So then um, the guy was like, hey, you know, you're an ex-con. You need a job. Let me make you consultant to the prison. So like I said, everyone was in the uproar because he was an ex-convict. Um, and now you have him running a prison basically because the actual warden or governor, as they say, follow him. He doesn't enforce nothing. He just does whatever his consultants say so you know they're all mad and they're all like spreading lies about him and then like so you'll have interviews like so they had interviews of like some of the prisoners that was there both times when 
when the woman was there and when the coven the current governor is there with this with this new guy and they were saying like you know when the woman was there they always got beaten it's like adult because a prison that held men men and women so you had adult men and women <clears throat> getting paddling paddling okay like now if you guys don't know what um <clears throat> what a cricket bat looks like and that's what they were using to beat these people if they didn't stay in line right that's what they were that's what they were using so these prisoners were like yo i didn't like when you know she was there because we used to get spankings i'm too old for that so like but she's telling everybody that all her you know everyone that she knew was like, hey, you should come back and run the prison because we miss you, right? And then the current guy was like, yo, because I used to be a prisoner and they know this, whatever I tell the prisoners to do, they do. So he said, the first thing I did when I came in, I was like, give me all your weapons. He said, I didn't force it on nobody. I didn't threaten nobody. And he showed the camera. They were just giving up weapons like walking up to the table and handing, handing stuff over. I'm like, damn, y'all got all that stuff in that prison? I've never been to prison, you know, so I don't know how they get things in there, but they had all sorts of sticks, pipes, knives. Well, they had all of that stuff going on, so I was like, damn, that's crazy. So, um, they, you know, he got it from there, but then the woman and her brother was like, no, you know, they're the source of all the drugs in the country, and they're the reason. So, you know, they're the reason why we can't, like, stomp out the war on the war on drugs, right? But that is um, that is definitely something to watch. Um, I didn't finish it because they were so focused on the, the guy that used to be a prisoner that I got the, you know, the, um, what is his name? I just said it. The, the consultant, the consultant is Marco, the consultant that I just got bored with it, but it is interesting to watch, you know, it is like, there's a guy that's literally in, employed there just to teach the prisoners how to dance. All right. And his, his philosophy, he has like lead dancers and his philosophy on having lead dancers is actually very interesting. But like I said, um, if you're interested in that type of documentary, it is something to watch and it's called happy jail all right it's on netflix right now if you're interested um so the last one i want to talk about is the one that i was currently watching and i've been binging and it's crazy because you know i had doctors i had like telemed and zoom doctor's appointments today so i you know i had to i had to stop and um go to those and stop my documentary but I am watching Border Security, American Border Security, a Border Patrol, right, on Netflix. So Netflix realized that I am into documentary, but like real life documentaries. So, you know, I don't know if documentaries are fake, but I'm just going to say real life documentaries. Like Netflix realized that. So of course, the last two days when I opened up my Netflix, um, I've been seeing, you know, like the stuff was like exciting reality shows, documentaries, you know, stuff like that. And I'm for it, you know. Um, I'm not going to like not, you know, do what I want to do. I know today's a little different as far as me putting shadow down there, down here. Um, I'm just, just not. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it today. I'm really thinking that I have a lot of ideas for this channel, guys. What do you think about me bringing like... I, I call them special guests. There are people that I know, and I in invite them out to star on my channel with me. Predominantly women, unless it's like a vlog. If it's like a regular vlog and not makeup oriented, then I probably have like guys on here. But predominantly women, and we just do our makeup and we talk about whatever. You know, I think that'll be beneficial. Just to, you know, just to have people on here and, you know, we have a conversation and we, we hang out with you guys. Um, so what do you guys think? Let me know if that's something that you'll be interested in seeing, you know? Um, but so back to the documentary, right? So it's the Border Patrol for the United States and, um, and it is for Canada, 
the Board of Canada, um, Buffalo, and Detroit, Michigan. Those three. I didn't say anything about the Mexican border, just those three borders. Which, guys, I did not know there was a border in Buffalo or Detroit. Like, I learned something today. Did you guys know that? Because I didn't know. And so, like, there's so many things that you require to have and stuff like that. And if you don't have it, you get stopped at the border, especially if you're coming through the border. Or I learned also, like, in Buffalo, downtown Buffalo, it may have changed by now, but I'm not sure. But at the time that this was filmed, downtown Buffalo don't have a Walmart. Okay, so a lot of people that were in downtown Buffalo trying to get to Walmart, the closest Walmart was in Canada. So when they realized that they got to the border, they turned around. Well, when they turned around, they got to the, they got to the, um, the checkpoint, right? The border crossing and they had to go through customs and stuff. And this one, this one family were Jamaican and, um, the husband and the children were citizens. Like the husband was a, was a permanent resident, right? But the wife... They were married for like two years. Now, I, I'm going to say this, you know, after, well, after I'm done, after I'm done telling you. So the wife, um, she got detained because they couldn't find her citizenship information. And then they asked her like, hey, first of all, do you have like permanent residents here? She's like, I don't know what you mean by that, right? And then they, they left and they... You know, they were talking to their bosses or whatever. And they came out and says, hey, do you have an active, do you have an active green card? She's like, no, I never had a green card. All right. So they're like, okay, cool. So they went back and talked. And what happened was they found out that three years before this incident, she came in on a visitor's visa. I have a lot of mascara. I can see it. She had like a she has she came in on a visitor's visa and she was only supposed to stay for like three weeks right and she ended up staying the whole time and she never left and then of course when the visa expired she stayed so of I, you know i don't think she was ever expecting this to happen like who does you know so um she met this guy that is a citizen of the united states he's natural citizen he's a permanent resident right um i don't i want to make sure i'm saying my what i'm saying right she met this guy's a permanent resident here and um they got married they had children her kids were like teenagers i would say like maybe preteen and above because i couldn't really tell because of their height you know my nephew is eight and he's like almost my height if not right now so i'm gonna just say preteen just to be on the safe side and they had two kids her and her husband okay two boys and so um, they got married. Now, I'm going to say this. I don't think, because he met her in the United States, I don't think it ever dawned on him that she wasn't a resident, you know? I don't think it did. Because I know, for me, right, if I meet a guy who's from another country, and he's living his best life here. I'm not going to say, hey, hon, are you a citizen? I'm not going to say that, you know? I'm not going to say that. So it probably never dawned on him that she wasn't. So then they asked the guy, like, hey. And I think they asked her, too, like, you know, did you do the process for paperwork so you can stay longer? Did you file paperwork saying you guys got married? And he was like, he was looking at him like, what? You know, and he was like, no. And, you know, and... I don't know anything about customs and I don't know what people know from what people don't know, but I feel like she probably did not <laughs> disclose that to him until at that moment because there was no choice. He was standing right next to her and he learned that she's not a U.S. citizen, right? So there was actually no, there was no choice for her if she was trying to conceal the fact that she wasn't, there was no choice to hide it because the government found it. And so um, what happened was he was like, well... It was like, well, you're gonna be detained, and um, until court, until your court hearing. So her husband was like, well, you're gonna take all of us because I'm not leaving her here. So come to find out, right? Um, they kept her for 22 days, and then um, they sent her like she was allowed to go back home, but then she's waiting 
trial. So, and then they was, you know, they were telling the husband, like, this is the things that you can do. You can contact a lawyer. Because he's like, I need a lawyer. They was like, well, here, you can contact a lawyer. Here's the paperwork for different lawyers. And you can get that situated. But unless she has family there in Jamaica, what is she going back to? I always think about that. Like, people that get deported, um... You know, what are you going back to if you've been here for 10 years, 3 years, 2 years, and then you get deported? Is your family still there? Did they all come back up here? You know, like, what's going on? But, yeah. Guys, I'm, like, screwing my lips up, but... <sighs> yeah. I haven't worn this lipstick in a long time, and I love it, but I, um, I put it on... <laughs> I keep forgetting that I need to put on a liner before chapstick. But hey, it is what it is. So that one, there was a lot of other things on that particular one that I, you know, the, the um, American Border Patrol that I liked. Like they see so much drugs. Oh my gosh, it was insane how much drugs they were see seizing and you would, and all I can say is this, anyone that send drugs through the mail, mm. um, I saw like, I'm sorry guys, like every video I burp and it's not on purpose. I think my body just knows because when I'm not on a video, I'm not burping as much. I still burp, but not as much, but, um, they track it. They, they backtrack, you know, so, um, for anyone that has the idea like, Hey, if I send it to the mail, I won't get caught. You will. You will get caught because they backtrack it and then they send it to Homeland Security and they get you and they throw away they throw away a lot of people food because there's certain things you can't bring into the country. Someone had a spider that hitchhiked in their luggage from Brazil. He didn't even know. I swear I would have died if I saw a tarantula as big as my face jump out my luggage and it was a tarantula as big as my face that jumped out of his luggage when they were checking it. Yeah, no, no. All right, so guys, this is the look today. I'm actually really happy about it. I'm going to work on getting some more primer, a different type of primer, because even though I love this one, um, my stuff isn't as vibrant. And it could be my palette, or it could just be the primer. Only time will tell, but this is actually super cute. I love these type of lipsticks because my lips look like this. Kissably pretty. <laughs> Anyway, guys, um, I know this video is a bit long, but I just had to, I had to tell you about what I've been doing today, and um, you know, I just gotta stay true to you guys and try to upload once a week. I am a talker, so it's I'm always gonna be talking, and it's always gonna be pretty long. But thanks for hanging in there, and thanks for watching me. And please, guys, do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment at the bottom. Um, I need that. I need your support. I need you guys to let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about. Like, I am glad to to do that with you. You know, I'm always here for conversation. That's what it's about, right? So, come on, guys. Thank you. Have a good night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.